Through the pandemic, there have been a lot of questions about COVID-19 and the vaccine in pregnant women. And as more time goes on, new studies are coming out. And joining us now is Dr. Lena Mithal. She's an assistant professor of pediatric infectious diseases at Lurie Children's Hospital and Northwestern University. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Oh, we're, we're glad to have you. A new study released last month from the CDC shows the COVID vaccine does not add to the risk of a premature delivery. A lot of people wondering about that. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so we have growing data about safety in, uh, of COVID vaccine during pregnancy, and we know that vaccination early in pregnancy does not lead to any increased rate of still uh, miscarriage or stillbirth. And we also know that uh, people that are pregnant and get COVID vaccine during pregnancy do not seem to be delivering early or um, having abnormally small babies or other um, pregnancy complications. So you've done your own research through a Friends of Prentice grant about the importance of pregnant women getting vaccinated. What else have you found? You know, there are increasing sort of layers of data of safety of COVID vaccine during pregnancy. And the reason this is important is because we know that pregnant people are at increased of increased risk of severe infection um, and getting very sick, including hospitalization, needing a ventilator, intensive care, and because of the complications of COVID-19 during pregnancy that include preterm birth, increased rates of stillbirth, um, and, and other complications. And so that's why it's very important. Now, the growing safety data, um, we were able to contribute to some of that. We have done studies looking at uh, the placentas of patients that had um, no COVID vaccine or COVID infection during pregnancy and compared them to those that had COVID infection during pregnancy and those that got COVID vaccine during pregnancy. And there was no increased risk of abnormalities uh, in the placenta after receiving COVID vaccine during pregnancy. And that certainly adds to the growing level of confidence and safety about vaccines during pregnancy. Doctor, I was going to say, what does that tell you uh, when it comes to what's in the placenta that that it's safe at, at any time during the pregnancy? I mean, is that, that what you felt like after that research was complete? Yeah, I mean, it is it is layers of data. There's also safety data of people that were pregnant who got vaccinated and delivered normal pregnancies. And that's, um, you know, a growing level of literature as well. But specifically the placentas in Oregon during pregnancy that tells us about the state of the pregnancy and abnormalities. And oftentimes abnormalities in looking at the placenta um, reflect uh, abnormalities or adverse things that happen during the pregnancy. And so the lack of any abnormalities in the placenta is reassuring that there is an injury or um, you know bad effects from the vaccine during pregnancy. Is there anything you think people out there who are still worried about getting vaccinated, uh, including pregnant women, uh, need to know? Uh, here we are entering year three of this pandemic, and there's still a lot of hesitation. And certainly, as more research comes out, maybe a little bit less hesitation for pregnant women. I think certainly there are a lot of unknowns, um, and during pregnancy, there's a lot of anxiety about what's the right decision. I think as time goes on, the body of evidence that there's safety in taking COVID vaccine during pregnancy, and then that compared to the rates of risk for adverse outcomes, for bad um, outcomes, although overall low, certainly for example, stillbirth or late pregnancy loss is over double what, what it is um, in people that don't get uh, COVID during pregnancy, if you do have COVID during pregnancy. And that's really a finding that we're seeing only in unvaccinated pregnant people that get COVID, that higher risk of stillbirth. So I think with the growing risks that are becoming known and more clear and the increasing safety evidence, um, that's been growing again uh, of COVID vaccine during pregnancy. I think the benefits are outweighing the risks and that's, you know, actually become an urgent recommendation from the CDC and a number of medical societies. Anytime we can have uh, local experts, uh, anytime we can have local experts come on on the show to talk to us and give factual information, we really appreciate it. Uh, Dr. Lena Mithal, thanks for taking the time tonight to share some of this important information with us. 
Sure. Um, thank you for having me. Uh, should I, can I say one more thing Absol that I forgot yeah, to say? Absolutely. One other bonus of getting the vaccine during pregnancy is that antibodies that the pregnant person's body produces against the vaccine is transferred to the infant or the, the growing baby, the fetus at the um, prior to birth. So when babies are born, from a vaccinated mother, they are being born with antibodies that probably have a level of protection um, for that newborn baby as well. So that's an added bonus. Yeah, I'd say so. Thank you for sharing that. I'm glad you added it, doctor. We appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Thanks so much. So hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.